Flow math 141, uh, we want to find all zeros real and complex for f of x equals x to the power of 4 plus 5x squared plus 4. Okay, so um, I can go ahead and factor this. Actually, this is one of the easier ones. f of x equals x to the second plus 1 and x to the second plus 4. And now I can do that as f of x equals here. I have sum of two squared, so uh, x plus i, x minus i. And here I have difference of, I uh, know I have sum of two scores again. So I have x plus uh, 2i and x minus 2i. Okay. So these are the factors. What what are the zeros? The zeros are, let's see from here, this gives me uh, minus i, then I have plus i, then I have minus 2i, and then I have plus 2i. Uh, so here you look at this and you say, you know, it's been a long time. I don't remember how to do, you know, how to factor this. Can you show me? And so let me go to the next page. I'm going to be doing the same problem, except use a substitution just to remind you of the factoring. Suppose I, let me write this as f of x equals x to the fourth plus five x to the second plus four. And here, once again, I'm going to use a substitution just as a reminder. You don't have to do this. I'm going to say let u equals x to the second. Well, if u equals to the second, you know, x to the second, then u to the second must equal x to the fourth, scoring both sides. So now I'm going to write my I'm going to rewrite this. Remember that x squared x to the fourth we said is the same as u to the second by that substitution by five times u from here plus four. And if I factor this, I have a trinomial. I need two numbers that add up to five multiply to four. So and that is u plus one u plus four. Okay. Now, all I have to remember is that what is u? u is x to the second. So x to the second plus one, x to the second plus four. And the rest of the problem is the same as previous page. So f of x equals, if I factor this, I get x plus i, x minus i, Factoring this gives me x plus 2i, x minus 2i. And so the zeros are plus and minus i and plus and minus 2i. Let's do one more example. Suppose we are given f of x equals x to the fourth plus 13, x to the second plus 36. First, I'm going to factor this um, the short way, and then I'll do the same problem with u substitution. So the short way would be to say, not shortcut, shorter way, you know, not using uh, u substitution f of x equals, I'm looking for two numbers that add up to 13 and multiply to 36, well, nine and four. So x to the second plus um, four and x to the second plus nine. And so f of x equals, factoring this, that gives me sum of two scores, x plus two i, x minus 2i, 
and factoring this gives me x plus 3i, x minus 3i. So what are the zeros? Uh, plus and minus 2i and plus and minus 3i. How do I know? Set this equal to zero and so on. Now let's do the same problem now using u substitution. Uh, go to the next page, starting with x to the fourth plus 13x to the second plus 36. Uh, and let me put here f of x equals that. So using a substitution, I'm going to say let u equals x to the second. That, and if I score both sides, now I have u squared equals x to the power of four. So I can rewrite my problem as in here, I can rewrite this as u to the second plus 13u uh, plus Thirty-six, and I can now factor that as u plus four, u uh, plus nine, and factor it further to u plus two i, u minus two uh, i, u plus three i, u minus three i, and set that equal to zero to get the uh, the you know, set all this equal to zero. This gives me uh, u equals minus 2i. This gives me u equals positive 2i, u equals negative 3i, and u equals positive 3i. So the zeros are plus and minus 2i and plus and minus 3i, just like um, we did in previous page. Now, you probably look at this and you say, well, these were, you know, factorable. Uh, can we do one or two that are not factorable? And the answer is yes, but I'm going to just start another video because uh, the shorter one works better.